everybody's concerned about the NBA having this abbreviated season. How can the NBA salvage this season? What should be their next steps? What can they do to save the season that was essentially interrupted by this huge pandemic? What can the NBA do? The only thing the NBA can do is this. They have to initiate what they were going to initiate instead of the All-Star game, which is the quote-unquote President's Cup. Essentially, the NBA, once it returns, whether it's in May, June, whatever it is, they have to look at it as a lockout season. Abbreviated season, lockout. We, we had some kind of jumbled up, but instead of it being due to contracts and contractual obligation, they have to look at it as a lockout due to pandemic and health reasons. Now that they're back, straight into President's Cup, straight into playoff mode. And this is what I mean. This will save the season and make it much more interesting and much more viable for its watchers. As soon as the NBA comes back, no more regular season games. All the, uh, From the East and the West, the teams that are already ranked 1 through 4, they do not have to participate in the President's Cup or the Playoff Cup or whatever they want to call it. So teams 1 through 4, East and West, they have a bye. They don't have to, they don't have to play in this preliminary playoff or this play-in tournament, whatever they want to call it. Preliminary playoff, hands off. All the teams that are left in the East and West 5 through 12, they have to play a five-game series in which... They beat well opponent, whoever they're matched up against, and then they get to play in the regular playoffs. So we're going to do a preliminary playoffs or a President's Cup playoffs. Teams 5 through 12. So that includes your Portlands. That includes your Orlandos. That includes your teams that are teeter-tottering. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the teams that have the better record 5 through 12, they're going to have home court advantage in this playoff. But making it a five-game series right off the rip, Every game counts that much more. It, there's much more intensity. Then, you're, it's a playoff. Automatically, people watch the playoffs more than the regular season. So that's going to put even more umph and gusto into people watching the games. Because they're like, this is a, a... I know it's not the real playoffs, but this is a preliminary playoff. So whoever doesn't make it here doesn't get to face off against... So that 5 seed, if they get upset by that 12 seed... Guess what? The Houston Rockets, they're going to be playing somebody like Phoenix or something like that in the playoffs. So that that has a huge implication. So that within itself raises the bar. Then you have the intensity of the game because there are teams like Portland who don't necessarily have the best record or who underachieved, but now they're like, well, we got a chance now. We can actually slip into the regular playoffs because once we, if we get past this preliminary playoff, Whoever wins their series, they are automatically um, seeded, you know, based on wherever they rank. So, um, if it's a fifth seed and they win against the twelfth seed, then guess what? They already they are, they're gonna play the fourth seed. But if it's like the twelfth seed and they win against the fifth seed, now they you know they gotta play against, you know, the four seed and stuff like that, and so on and so on and so on. There should be other contributing factors, but, you know, order of numerical value, and that's how they should do it. But that one in itself is huge. Now, listen to this. You're giving the first four teams a bye for the regular playoffs. So they, they don't play in this President's Cup preliminary playoff. They're watching. They're eating, it, eating getting their popcorn there, enjoying themselves. Guess what? Now they have to play. Haven't played in how many months now? Haven't played in how many months now? Guess what? Now that leads to upsets. That could lead to a possible upset. Because now you're going to play in a regular playoffs, which will be a seven-game series. So the five-game series is for the teams that are 5-12 to 12 to get in. And then now maybe you give them a week because, you know, the teams, they might be tired. I don't think they'll be tired. These guys have already been off, you know, due to the, the pandemic and the virus. Now you play a regular playoff. Now, I don't know how long this might last. So this might go into the to the season based on to the next regular season based on a pandemic. However, this lays out the framework for next time there's an interruption in play. The NBA already has 
framework in order to deal with something like this in the event in the future. So now you're looking at it like this. You play a preliminary cup, five game series. Hey, maybe maybe you you even make it a five game series and then you even crown they keep they go past one round. They can go all the way to the top and then based on whoever finishes like the top four teams, that that could be dope too. You play a five game series, put them in brackets, five through twelve, and then they east west and then they play and then all the, the the top four teams east and west you know they they rank up and you you distribute them accordingly but now they get comes to the regular playoffs that's the seven game series and now we just saw a preliminary playoff we saw some of the teams that are not the best teams kind of mediocre but some teams that are middle of the road teams that needed this to tune up now they're playing against the big boys and now we get to see the regular playoffs so now you get two playoffs you get two sponsorships because ABC, NBC, they're all going to pick it up. They're going to pick up the President Cups. They're going to pick up the pre-preliminary playoffs. Then they're going to pick up the regular playoffs. And while abbreviated and compact it, it, it may be, guess what? The season is over just like that. No more games because they played they played a great deal of the games. Season's over just like that. Maybe you give them a month off or whatever the case. Or you don't, maybe you don't give them time off. Maybe you give them two weeks off because they're we're already – been with our sports for almost you know, over a month. So now, give them a little bit of time off. Then the season starts a little later. Now you can compress the games. Maybe you add a couple more back-to-backs. And then you can play an 82 games, 82 game season. Or if the pandemic goes further into next year, hey, you have another shortened season. This time you don't have to do the President's Cup because you'll have more games as a sample. And then into the regular playoffs. But to me, that preliminary playoff is huge. I think that... The league should really entertain that. No more games once you get back. Once you get back, it's teams five seated five through twelve. You guys play each other in a, a preliminary tournament to see who gets to be the first, you know the remaining four seeds in the East and the West, and then you play the playoffs after that. And that that brief window will make history. It'll make the league look like geniuses. And think about this: playoff basketball. It is super intense, whether it's in Vegas, when you watch the Summer League, whether it's the NBA, anything with playoffs labeled on it, it is is going to be high octane, high electricity, competitive to the core. And that's the solution for the NBA. That's the only solution. Don't play these games, these meaningless games. You know, people are already been, you know, they're already they're already thinking like what's going to happen to the title? How are we going to distribute this? This is the answer. A pre-preliminary playoff into the playoffs title. Then we move on to the regular season. Who's Junction? Who's Me's Hoopla? Like, comment, subscribe.